this is a new hourglass foundation um, it is called um, ambient soft glow foundation and this is the packaging so uh, color number seven is a light medium with warm undertone so the claims that hourglass is uh, serving us with is a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours coverage medium finish natural formulation liquid highlighted ingredients light diffusing pigments deliver a natural soft focused finish blurring spheres minimize ingredients free of parabens and contains less than one percent synthetic fragrance i didn't um smell anything before it is also vegan gluten-free and cruelty-free what else you need to know inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection this foundation is infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that looks smooth even and glowing the transfer resistant formula is also resistant to humidity and sweat for flawless looking coverage that stays in place. My only moisturizer or the only thing I will put on my face um, before the foundation will be this. has a pump one pump oh no this is too light wow okay and I thought I was going dark sun we are in summer now and this is in the shade seven and um it, it's too light for me i do like the the tone which is uh warm it's i think it said like golden i'll, I'll read the um the color and i'm gonna put it everywhere even on my eyes where i normally put uh from uh concealer I'm going to spread it all over on one side of my face. Let's see if it isodized. Ice. Never mind. <laughs> Oxidizes. Okay, um, right now it's looking like a semi, like it's not glowy and it's not matte. It's like in the, in the middle and spreading one pump definitely, no, definitely is only a light coverage. Okay, I'm gonna do another pump for the other side.
Okay, that pump seems like it was bigger. It had more product. It feels lightweight. Okay, and now this looks like a medium coverage. The first one was probably, the first pump that came out was probably not mixed enough or, and not a full pump came out because you can see the difference. Okay, so that improved. And I'm gonna drag it to the other side now since now we know what one pump does. One pump is good. So, I think, um, hmm, okay, let me see. And I'm using a paddle brush. Okay. I put a little bit more here, like maybe half a pump. Okay, I'm not gonna use any concealer. I'm just gonna, uh, or I might, but okay. Let's see how it goes. So it's not runny, it's like, um, like a mousse, I would say. Um, like the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the same cons consistency as that. Yeah. Okay, so you need two pumps, definitely. Minimum two pumps to cover your face. And this paddle brush, I am using it because it does not observe much product, like a sponge would, because um, this is saying that it's um, medium coverage. So then I, I don't want any product being lost in a sponge and this brush does deposit what you put on it for the most part okay I'm gonna just put a little bit of gloss this is my favorite L'Oreal. So I have a pimple right here, so just ignore that. Um, I don't have much texture on my face. I do have hyperpigmentation over here, and I feel that it covered it uh, for a medium. It covered it like a medium coverage foundation would 
like any other wood. So, okay, uh, right now I it doesn't feel like I have something heavy. It does feel wet still on my face. Um, it feels like the, like it, it looks like the double wear by Okay, so after looking at the foundation up close, it seems to me that on my skin without a primer, it's just sitting on top of my skin. I can see it in my pores. Like, I can see the little dots in my pores. Uh, when I look at it close and when I look at it like when I look at it with like with a magnifying glass like the from this mirror um, I can see that it's just sitting on my skin uh, now with the regular mirror I still see that it's still, like it's on my skin and when I look close like over here it doesn't look like it has blend into my skin you know like okay I'm gonna uh, do the rest of my makeup and then we'll discuss this uh, foundation okay I'm, I'm gonna just do a little bit of concealer And I'm going to do very minimal makeup because I want, uh, obviously I want to, I want to really see this foundation. So, this is the Huda. This concealer, every time I use it, it splashes on my table. So, this is in the color nug uh, Nugget. And I'm just going to apply it on my eyes over here. Sad to report because I... The description of this foundation says that it, it follows the uh, technology of ambient uh, bl um, powders, which I love. Like, it has this blurring effect. And this does not. I can still see my pores. And put it there see like right now my nose right here the product has removed mm -hmm. okay um, I'm just gonna do my eyes and while I'm doing my makeup I'm also observing the um, the foundation and I'm gonna put this on my cheeks just like right here Yeah, I don't see anything different or special about this um, Yeah, I can still see my pores right here This is a beautiful blush That's it. It has worn out over here. It has bunched over here. But it has not settled into my laugh lines, which I'm very surprised. 
but it still feels like it's just on top of my face like you can see that like it's in my my pores it's gotten a little shiny here now remember I did not set it I did not put setting spray no powder over here nothing so this it's been four hours now it's only been four hours and this is how it's looking like this like came off over here It has come off in around my nose. Like over here, like over here I don't have anything or just a very little uh, foundation. Um, I was wearing glasses so it could be, could be that, but here it's patchy. It's patchy here. My chin is gone. All of the foundation from here is gone. This is not smooth, it's cakey over here. This just looks like a drugstore foundation to me. And this is what it looks like. This just looks like a an old L'Oreal foundation. The new L'Oreal foundation that I reviewed in my other video is better than this. And this costs like $80 Canadian. And the L'Oreal is $20? Today's video on this foundation is only my first impressions. I did not use anything uh, with it, like I mentioned. I will, I'm planning to do another video uh, with using primer, setting it with powders, and a setting spray, using it how, um, you know, the, with the routine, right, that we 